Oh my God, look at this mango. Oh, I just wanna eat it. Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be an I see I know on these lip products. These are from MUA or Makeup Academy. Um, and I got these at a CVS. I got them because I have a lip gloss from them that I really like. It's called Nude, I think. I forgot what color it is. But um, I really like it because it's super pigmented and I don't even need to wear like a lipstick on the bottom of it. I should have brought it, but it's one of the lip glosses from MUA. But I wanted to mainly focus this video on these liquid lipsticks. So I got them in four colors. They all pretty much look the same. <laughs> I know, I have issues. Anyways, I got the color Magenta, Plum, Brick, and Rose. Um, I got these when they were buy one get one free at CVS because one of them is like $8 or $9. So buy one get one free. I jumped on it and I grabbed these. I love liquid lipsticks. I love lipsticks that have great color pigmentation, especially from the drugstore. I think that's really, I don't know. Drugstores are stepping it up. So yeah, so I grabbed these um, and I tested them, them out like in the car because I didn't want to like drive away and then not, cause MUA is not sold at every C of S. See, see what I mean? MUA is not sold at every CVS, but you can go on the CVS website and look up your locations and it'll tell you which ones have um, MUA or Makeup Academy. Um, some of some CVS is just sell the brushes and then some CVS have the whole like makeup and brushes and some CVS have nothing of MUA. So um, just make sure you check online if you do want to look into MUA um, stuff. So yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna swatch these out and show you the color. They're super pigmented, like extremely pigmented. Um, I'm not wearing that right now, but um, first of all, let's talk about the brush. When I bought the brush, it when I bought the liquid lipstick, the brush did not look like this. I guess the way um, it gets stored inside, it just literally destroys the brush. I don't know if it's because of the material or the way that this is super thick consistency or drier consistency, I'm not sure. But every single one, let me show you another one, is busted. So that makes it for hard application. You would have to literally grab your own lip brush and bring it with you because every single brush gets destroyed. Um, I tried to like swirl it, I tried to spin it so it gets more of a better placement once it's inside the tube again, but it does not work. Like literally every single one is completely destroyed. So that's my first um con on these things um also i know there's different um i would put this on my lips but they're so drying like these will suck every inch of like every drop of moisture from your lips at first i don't mind because i don't mind if i have dry lips i already have naturally dry lips i always have to hydrate them but um when I first tried them on, I was so sold on the pigment that I was like, oh my god, these are amazing, this is perfect. But then as the day wore off and it was just this dry, like, cement feeling on my lips, I couldn't deal with it. I've forgotten to use them, I kind of just leave them, like, on the back of my collection because I just remember that feeling and then I tried them on the other night and, whoa, they are super creamy, like, when you apply them. But once it dries, oh, it dries. I mean, if you can, if you like that, then that, these will be perfect for you. But I need some sort of moisture on my lips and I don't wanna carry a lip gloss around and apply it on top to keep my lips hydrated. But as you can see, it has amazing color payoff. Like this is like paint on my hands. It is completely, opaque, creamy, and thick, as you can see, and it'll dry. It'll dry completely on your lips if that's what you want, great. As soon as I took a wet wipe to take off the lip product, once it fully dried, they dry pretty quickly. It literally just like peeled off. 
Like it literally cra like cracked and peeled off. Like the way it was coming off was in like little circles, like little pieces of like dried paint basically off my lips, which was so disgusting. And that was my first time experiencing that. But um, yeah, so I would, like I said, I would put it on my lips because the colors are beautiful. And once you do get a lip brush, you can apply it super nicely and it'll look great. But as soon as they dry down, it is so dry. It literally is like a desert on your lips. Like even like licking, you'll get um, residue on your tongue because it'll, it doesn't transfer. I mean, they do transfer and not like heavily, but it'll transfer. Um, I'm just really upset that I bought, well, I bought two because I got two free. I'm so upset that I got so sold on the initial wear of them that by the time I wore it for like another 10, 15 minutes, by the time I got to work because I got it on my lunch break, I was like, what is this? Like, this is so drying. And I even told my friends like, oh my God, these are amazing. You should get them. My friend, she actually went to CVS and bought them and she hated them. She was like, they are so dry and it felt awful on my lips. So uh, like I ignored her, I'm like, no way, you just probably didn't like them, whatever. I love them, I think they're amazing, blah, blah, blah. Because look at that, that is amazing. That is something to be sold off on. I even put it on Snapchat, I think on Instagram, like, yo, go to CVS. These are buy one, get one free liquid lipsticks. Like, hello, this is amazing. But no, I'm going to go with the I know on these because the brush, number one, the brush is garbage. Garbage, completely, 100%. This is straight up garbage. There's, like, this will get all over your mouth. And second of all, the feeling of them. Um, I don't like once they set. I don't like how, like, once you press your lips together, it, like, almost sticks. And I feel like it'll start crumbling, if anything, if your lips get dry enough. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with I Know for these. These are the swatches. I'm sorry I didn't try them on my lips, but like I said, they're pretty bad, so I don't wanna, like, destroy my lips and get it all over my face because I do have makeup on right now. But um, I hope you guys got the gist of this, and if you wanna give them a try, go ahead, but I don't suggest them. I do suggest the lip glosses and maybe the other lip products. I haven't tried them, but I would go more for those than these. But I do suggest um, these from Rimmel. Um, if you do wanna get somewhat of a liquid lipstick, these are the newer ones. These are the Rimmel Show Off Lip Velvet in the matte formula. I heard they're not as matte. See, look, you can see it's drying. They're becoming more dry. There's not that much. Yeah, it doesn't look as glossy as before. Um, but I got these in the color Meteor Meteoric Matte and the color Burning Lava. Um, I do have two of the previous ones that are more like glossy. These ones are more matte. Um, they have like crazy pigmentation, like insane. Just like these, but these feel so much more velvety. Yeah, velvet and they feel so much more soft on the lips and they're not as dehydrating and I don't know, they're just as opaque. They just feel so much more comfortable on the lips as the whole like drugstore liquid lipstick end of it. Um, so yeah, these are them. As you can see, complete color like you get full opaque color just as these these are just as you can tell they're a little shiny they're more shiny when you're applying them because it gives it room to move and you know fill your lips um and then they'll dry down i heard they don't dry down as fully matte or as fully dry like these probably will last longer than these but these are going to feel a lot more better than these they're not good. I'm so sorry. I wish they were because buy one, go one free is such a great deal. And these are usually 25% off like every other week at CVS. But no, these are definitely I know. Hopefully you guys like this and I will see you in my next video. Bye.